All right, one of those changeable days once again. Started out gray, a little bit on the chilly side, and then watch what happened. Yeah, some sunshine mixing in late morning through the early afternoon, and then more gray skies <laughs> building in from the west and southwest. As a matter of fact, we have a weak system passing through the Ohio Valley, and it certainly means lots of clouds the next several hours, uh, even through the night and into tomorrow. You know that. Condition. We're going to have gray skies. We had it all weekend long. But on top of that, a few light showers will be possible every so often, especially tonight through tomorrow. So just keep the umbrellas handy. No, it's not going to be a steady, continuous downpour, but the chances for some patchy light rain showers will be out there. Right now, temps cool, but actually a little bit above average for the time of year. 46 to 47 around town at this time. Humidity 66% of southeast breeze at 9. Those winds right there coming at us from the southeast will start veering around and go to a south and then southwesterly direction a little bit later on. And that's when temperatures will jump actually into the lower 50s, expecting 53 degrees a little bit later on tonight. Don't get used to it. It will cool off again as we move into tomorrow. With the weak system moving through, certainly lots of clouds out there, but no rain around the metro. We have a little band of light rain showers moving out of the viewing area now towards I-75. But a few little blips on the radar scope continue to form as you move west. And the main system is still farther off to the west. So the bottom line, the rain chances will be with us on and off tonight and really into tomorrow. Here's the bigger picture. You can see that first little broken band of showers now moving into the Ohio Valley, kind of sprawled out from Chicago back through our region. But the main curl or spin in the atmosphere is still way up here in northwestern portions of Missouri, and that's where the main storm system is located. On top of that, cold front is still sprawled out across Missouri. As this entire thing moves in our direction, yeah, the rain chances will certainly continue. Here's the future clouds and radar moving through this evening, through the early overnight. Chances for some widely scattered showers, really nothing more than that. The front passes through here very, very late tonight, but temperatures will still be mild. We're talking 50 degrees as the air behind this system isn't exceedingly cold. We'll wake up to 50, as I mentioned, in the morning, a chance for a few light showers. Then as we move through the afternoon, it's kind of breezy, a lot of clouds tomorrow, and a passing light rain shower or some patchy drizzle, certainly a possibility. So just keep the umbrellas handy tonight and also tomorrow. Again, keep in mind, we'll be at 50 bright and early in the morning, but midday through the afternoon, these are the expected temperatures, basically in the middle and upper 40s, and the cooler weather will continue to build in over the next several days. That's our first weather maker. The second one is currently developing out here in the Pacific Ocean. This thing has a lot of energy with it. It's going to be diving off towards the southeast and come Friday night into Saturday, there could be there could be enough cold air still around that we could see a mix of rain and even some wet snow. It's something we're watching closely for you. Actually, it would be kind of nice to get some snow in here for Saturday of this coming weekend. That Christmas so, snow, so to speak, but we'll watch it close and have an update as we get a little bit closer to the event. All right, for the evening, uh, 40s will actually climb into the 50s. Widely scattered light rain showers, a possibility. Temperatures around 49 at 10 o'clock tonight. Again, we'll go into the 50s, wake up to 50 in the morning, and then some of that cooler air rushes back in. So we're back into the middle 40s by midday tomorrow. Just kind of a cloudy, breezy, cool, somewhat damp. Tuesday shaping up. Some sun returns Wednesday, but a high of just 40. Uh, it could be a renegade flurry Thursday, no big deal. But Vicki Rick, we're watching that system to actually move in Friday night into Saturday. That's the one that could bring us some wet snow. Uh, and yeah, there could be some some accumulations. It's way too early to tell, but we'll watch it real close. It's getting close to people wanting the I know, season right? snow, right? It, it'd be perfect timing just a few days before Christmas. So. Okay. We'll work on it hard for you. All right. Thank you, Jack.